The first snow of the year was always a special time in the small mountain town of Eldridge. The townsfolk loved the white blanket that covered their picturesque community, transforming it into a winter wonderland. However, this year, the snow brought something else with it. Something unnatural and utterly terrifying. As the snowflakes began to fall, thick and fast, blanketing the town in a heavy layer of white, strange occurrences started happening. Pets went missing, eerie howls echoed through the night, and odd large footprints appeared in the freshly fallen snow. The townspeople were uneasy, but they chalked it up to the wildlife disturbed by the early snowfall. The first victim was an old man, the town's hermit. He was found in his cabin, frozen solid, his face twisted in an expression of sheer terror. The police couldn't explain it, there was no signs of forced entry, and nothing in the cabin was disturbed, except for the old man himself of course. It was as if he had been scared to death. As the days grew shorter and nights longer, more people started to report sightings of strange creatures in the snow. They were described as humanoid, but with elongated limbs and glowing red eyes. These beings seemed to be attracted to the snow, emerging only when it fell. The town was on edge, but nothing could prepare them for the night of the winter festival. It was supposed to be a celebration of the season, with the entire community gathering in the town square. The snow was falling gently, creating a perfect festive atmosphere. But as the clock struck midnight, the creatures emerged in mass from the woods surrounding Eldridge. They descended upon the town, their howls piercing the night. The townspeople ran screaming, trying to find shelter from the onslaught. The creatures were relentless, breaking into homes, dragging people into the snow-covered streets. The night was filled with chaos and terror. In the midst of the pandemonium, a group of survivors, including the town sheriff and a few brave souls, barricaded themselves in the town hall. They tried to understand what was happening and how to stop it. The sheriff remembered an old legend their grandma used to tell them about. Snow walkers, ancient creatures that dwelled in the mountains and descended with the first snow to hunt. As they tried to formulate a plan, the snow walkers began to assault the town hall, their strength seemingly supernatural. The windows shattered under the force of their blows, and the door began to buckle. The survivors knew they couldn't hold out much longer. In a desperate attempt to save their town, the sheriff decided to confront the creatures. They stepped outside, armed with only a flare gun, and faced the snow walkers. They fired the flare into the sky, the bright light illuminating the night. For a moment, the creatures hesitated, their red eyes fixating on the flare. Seizing the opportunity, the survivors started to fight back, using whatever they could find as weapons. A fierce battle ensued, but the snow walkers were too many, too strong. One by one, the survivors fell, their screams echoing through the night. The sheriff, wounded and exhausted, standing alone against a horde of snow walkers. They close in on them. The sheriff fires their last flare, the light reflecting in their haunting red eyes. The town fades to black, leaving the sheriff's fate unknown, and the town of Eldridge lost to the terror of the first snow. Thank you for listening to Something Came With The First Snow. If you enjoyed this story, please leave a like, and if you enjoy hearing stories from me, please subscribe and become a resident of Hill Street, and let me know how I'm doing in the comments. And I hope all of you have a fantastic night.